friends welcome to let friends sasha today in this video we are going to see in detail about shadow nature of shadow and its characteristics we already know that opaque object does not allow light to pass through it so we cannot see through an opaque object do you know what will happen if a opaque object comes in the path of light for example in a dark room shine a torch on the wall what will happen the wall gets illuminated now hold the book on the path of the light the side of the book facing the torch gets illuminated but a dark patch appears on the screen this dark patch obtained on the screen by an opaque object when it is placed in the path of source of light is known as a shadow now what is shadow shadow is a dark patch obtained on the screen by an opaque object when it is placed in the path of source of light now let's see the formation of shadow how does the shadow form there are three basic condition that led to the formation of shadow first we need a opaque object that does not allow light to pass through it second there must be a source of light for example sun torch bulb etc third there must be a opaque screen where the shadow is to be formed here the torch acts as a source of light the ball acts as a opaque object and the wall acts as a screen where the shadow is formed now we are going to see about the nature of shadow some shadows are completely dark whereas some shadows are very faint we may observe that the central part of the shadow is darker than its surroundings therefore a shadow can be divided into two regions the umbra and the penumbra first is the umbra the umbra is the central and darkest part of the shadow where no light reaches this central and darkest part of the shadow is known as the umbra next we are going to see about the penumbra the penumbra is a part of shadow which receives some amount of light that is why it casts a faint shadow the penumbra lies around the umbra if the object blocks the light completely it casts a dark and sharp shadow in this situation only the umbra is formed now let's see about the characteristics of shadow an opaque screen or a surface is required for the formation of shadow in absence of the screen the shadow will not be seen irrespective of the color of the object the shadow is always black the shadow gives only the outline or the shape of the object but not the details a small object will cast a small shadow whereas a large object will cast a large shadow now we are going to see the changes in the size of shadow when we vary the distance between the source object and the screen let's perform this with the help of an activity before getting into the activity now let's discuss the four cases case 1 when the distance between the object and the source is decreased the shadow becomes larger case 2 when the distance between the object and the source is increased the shadow becomes smaller case 3 when the distance between the object and the screen is decreased the shadow becomes smaller case 4 when the distance between the object and the screen is increased the shadow becomes larger here the flashlight from the mobile acts as a source ball acts as a opaque object and the wall acts as a screen when the distance between the object and the screen is decreased the shadow becomes smaller when the distance between the object and the screen is increased the shadow becomes larger when the distance between the object and the source is decreased the shadow becomes larger when the distance between the object and the source is increased the shadow becomes smaller thank you for watching my video please like share and subscribe my channel also leave your comments below i'll meet you next video until then bye bye from sasha